I feel like I'm falling in love mm-hmm, The first time Hey, love Greetings, everybody, and welcome into the Hourglass Scorpio season, fresh out of Libra season. Let's see what the cards have for you. We're going to get conflict theme cards out here. We're going to break it down, so take the messages as it resonates. Leave what doesn't. We have this rebirth coming through. There was a lot of eclipse energy. I was holding back. I was being um, a social media hermit, kind of like listening to my own truth, listening to what I'm being guided to do. It's, it was like a lot of cosmic chattering going on with me for the past couple of days and weeks. And I just wanted to tune in. And by doing so, sometimes you have to like break away from everything. You have to disconnect, right? And reconnect with yourself. So some of you may be disconnecting from a lot, improving your situation, taking the actions necessary. And what that is doing is fully activating your potential, your destiny, there are a lot of teachable moments. Some of you are still repeating the same old lessons in love because you have skipped a lot of lessons. Nobody wants any breadcrumbs, hey, right? No, we don't want no scraps. I'm also being asked or prompt to ask you. We have ascended wanting to flip up off camera. What are the hits? What are the cosmic hits? What is the ethers sending you? What kind of downloads are you getting? We have transcendent. Some of you may have transcended out of a love situation. I feel like you love someone a lot. Like you were really weak for this person or you were willing to do anything for this person. Somebody ghosted you to save you from them. This ghosting is going to push you into a new phase. And it could be a phase of preparing you for union with yourself. I feel like we have a group of people that are more concerned about what others are doing than what they need to be doing on this expansion journey. Hot air balloon blimps may be significant. Look look up in the sky. I'm hearing Shaw Day. The, the color of love. It's the color of love. All right. So let's get some conflict theme cards. We're going to see what the problem, the dilemma may be. Some of you are ascending um, from a lot. We have the number fives, pretty strong hair. So it's time for you to rely on yourself more than others in this season. Don't back out. Don't give up because something is taking a little bit longer. Something about freedom and health needs to go hand in hand. Let's get some conflict cards out here. Scorpio season, what does it have to offer us this time? We have date and face in it. We're going to put it off to the side. So someone may be wanting to date you. Hold on. Let me get some water here. I'm parched. You guys drink. Keep hydrated. All right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Especially if you're ascending. Like you got to stay hydrated. You got to eat foods as a, it's going to nourish or bring you back energy. Somebody setting a date. Mm -hmm. Their actions going to speak pretty clearly. I'm hearing ready or not. Here I come. You can't hide. Gonna find you and me. You want me ready or not? Uh -huh. <laughs> Facing it. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. Some of you, I don't know if you're dating for pockets or you're dating for food. You little hungry butt. Somebody may be dating for food, sponsors, hands out. This could also be that y'all going to have to speak your mind, speak your truth. You're going to have to let somebody have it at some kind of dinner. This could be a birthday dinner. Someone maybe love avocados. I'm seeing someone eating a plain avocado here with a spoon. Just scooping that shit out like ice cream. It will set you free. Some of you, 
you're dating online you could be a little bit afraid holy shit my deck of cards just slid out <laughs> some of you could be dating online and you're kind of afraid you don't know if you're fucking with the real deal or this is just a smash and go like a, a touch and let go we say touch and let go in the islands where you know you're dating someone you know you're talking back and forth online you know it tends to go a lot faster with the text messaging yeah like you're gonna feel like this person meets your expectations 28 that could be a birth date two plus eight is ten that goes down to one something about your version of a person you're not seeing it clearly i'm also hearing pure energy some of you may be coming with pure energy to to the dating cyber world and i feel like um you're, you may be giving this pure energy to people that are not looking for that. I'm hearing that they're not looking for what you're looking for. They're looking for a meetup, a, a kick it. We just, you know, they want to just go through the motions of, you know, wine and dine and kicking it. You're afraid of what's out there. I'm hearing I'm, a, I'm afraid of what's out there. It would meet my expectations. Maybe for a lot of you, you think your expectations are unrealistic. We have journey. So in my first uh, reading today, I was talking about journey music. And for me, it's Coldplay. It feels like I'm falling in love. I mean, and when I say journey music, it's like highway music. You know, you're crossing a bridge or you're getting ready for work. And it's like a, it's a commute. You know what I'm saying? And you listen to music that gets you going car music highway music journey music rebirth music and again for me it's cold play feel like i'm falling in love it's just it gets me excited about the the new day you know what i'm saying some of you um you may be getting flown out somebody's getting flown out we have unexpected income and journey we have 27 10 i'm seeing somebody writing 10 and they circle the 10. Maybe that's the date. We're circling dates. Could be the 27th to uh, the 10th. What's out there? Somebody's like, what's out there? Somebody may be trying to come see you. And they don't know what's out there. They've never been around your city. It feels like I'm falling in love. Maybe for the first time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. It's my mind that you blow. Yeah, so maybe some you blow somebody's mind. And they want to tell you the truth. This could be someone that was thinking about it for a minute. Maybe they were on the dating scene and, you know, they just can't move on from you. Or there's nobody else like you. Both of you could be um, long distance. This person could have, um, I'm hearing, a, I smashed that lick. So I don't know if somebody got a job or they're an independent contractor where they could travel whenever they want or they travel for, for, for work. But I'm getting like, yeah, traveling for work. This could be a contractor. What is that? A mature man. Number five, we have five again. Yeah. So we have a mature man handling business. Somebody may drive out of town for work as well. I'm getting like a bus driver for some reason. Doesn't work in their county. They work in the next county. So this could be like you want to work outside of where you're living. Setting a date. Circling the 10th, the 5th, the 27th. Interesting. Let's see what this is all about. We have internal charisma. <laughs> You're cakes, huh? And we have blessed day. A lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. And then I'm getting, is that um ice cube? It was a good day. Right? It was a good day in the hood. <laughs> anyway, internal charisma. What is that saying? Some of you look so good. A lot of people want to date you. Maybe there's like three people. That's a lot. Wow. I feel like somebody wants to make you money. This could feel like an air sign with Libra, Aquarius, Leo. Um, this could feel like a Taurus too, Tauran energy. Like somebody wants to 
I don't know. I'm seeing like somebody passing your name and your number to um, a potential person that you could network with for work. It's like setting up a date for an interview or... I don't know. I feel like word of mouth, the best advertisement. Somebody's trying to... Ooh, I feel like you did a service hey, and word of mouth is the best advertisement. You're going to get more, more services or customers. Some of you radiant, this glow. Like, I'm seeing you as the candle. It's a very, like, light, sexy ambiance. I'm hearing light the candles and get on the floor. Okay, okay. You attracting someone, hey. When they speak to you, whether it's day or night, they feel blessed. Must be must be nice. I'm hearing that song. Must be nice. Having someone who understands that a thug has feelings too. Yeah? <laughs> Somebody who's mighty as a lion. But gentle as a bluebird or something. Gentle talks. Bluebirds sing. They chirp a lot. So maybe you have gentle talk or your tone of voice is like hypnotic. Like somebody likes when you glow about the things you love. They feel like you bless. You bless. Some of you are pursuing your dreams. You're feeling blessed. You may be feeling like a social butterfly. You're just feeling like sexy. Maybe you're falling in love with life because again that cold play falling in love it, it just is that highway music you know you went for the bus you went for the trolley you went for the train you went for that um air bus and it's like you're listening to that music that traveling music and you're just like in your vibe i feel like i'm falling in love maybe for the first time mm-hmm Oh my goodness. Some of you may be off to a social event. Maybe you, you're going somewhere, like a hair show. I'm a, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. And yeah, traveling to hair shows, setting setting the date, like planning our, uh, um, planning the day. We're going to travel here to eat over there. Yeah. Very self-conscious about yourself. Some of you strangers, maybe there's children looking at you and smiling. Children, are, I know, oh my goodness, so Saturday, right? The salon was crazy. I mean, we were slammed, right? I forgot it's Halloween. My kids are grown. I forgot about all of that fucking Halloween shit, right? So I had so many children requests. I mean, I cut the hair like three months ago or for the beginning of school. And here they come back requesting me. So that was beautiful support coming from little people. I mean, it's such a blessing when children are, are like connecting with you. You get what I'm saying, you guys? I don't know. This could also feel like. And in that song, and you see this beautiful flower. So in that Cold's Play song that I keep telling you guys about, when he's like, I know, la 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 la, I know, la 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 la, still I don't let go. And fields of flowers grow. <laughs> yeah. Listen. It's going to be a beautiful day. Some of you are going to have a lot of beautiful moments throughout Scorpio season. Like people are going to be attracted to how you're doing things. Like you may be feeling like you got to improve more. But the people that are watching you, observing you, they're going to be tipping you. If you work in a, um, an industry where tips are allowed or people just want to give you extra for the job well done. Hello. Accept it. You deserve it. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm also getting that any major social event that you're planning for, I feel like you're going to, it's going to be successful. It's going to be a successful trip. You may also meet someone that's um, in the same industry or you guys have the same hobbies, the same passion. You guys may stick connected as well. You may even set a, a future date to see each other. So let's talk about, you know, something isn't right. So that situation that isn't right, that person that isn't right, whatever. 
let's see what emotion it may be attached to disgust so that feeling of ain't feeling right is attached to disgust maybe you may meet someone and their breath kind of off a little bit i don't know it's like i wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole is what i got 10 again comes back up so i don't know maybe you go to a restaurant and something is old something is spoiled maybe some seafood is not right smell your food before you eat it maybe somebody's trying to get you drunk or you smelling wine didn't smell good there also could be something that's rotten that's dead you may see flies on a window or there's gnats i know i went to a um my favorite smoothie cafe and the person we i was having a smoothie date with they asked about a light and i knew what it was it's for for mosquitoes it's for flying bugs it's for bugs right they're attracted to the light and it zaps them so i don't know you may need to get a bug zapper but whatever this is it doesn't feel right you need to trust that throw it out or let the trash take itself out somebody's embarrassed excited and depressed what people gonna say I feel somebody like looking around. Somebody could be um, paranoid about where they're going. So I feel like somebody may not be saying where they're going. I feel like somebody's coming to see you, but they're not telling anybody. They feel embarrassed about it. Maybe this is someone that keep canceling on you and they feel embarrassed about it. So now they're heading your way. They feel very um, excited to see you. This person could be struggling with depression. It could be the foods that they're eating. I'm, I'm getting like they may have like some sort of food that they eaten uh, is affecting their aura, their energy. Too much bacteria in it. Yeah. Something that someone is eating is not agreeing with their hormones. Every time they eat this thing, it feels weird. It could be like um, like crab, some sort of pastry with crab or seafood in it. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good. Stop eating the shit then. Yeah. Somebody feels like you're very official or essential to them. They were afraid to come, come towards this way or they don't know what to expect. They were afraid to find out. Somebody was afraid to find out dating you. Well, <laughs> They were drawn into you. They felt blessed to ever meet someone like you. But they're afraid to find out what it's like to date you. They could have met someone at a side hustle. Something seasonal. We have somebody traveling to a location to secure a deal. We have a shame. What's going on with y'all? Y'all going to humiliate someone at dinner frustrated someone may be ubering and they're late or yeah ubering to a station airport and they fucking late wow i'm getting like somebody on a hot ass date this person may look good they clean up well they may say something or their breath may be off something very stinky or foul may happen and it's like you already wrote this person on. You're frustrated that you even showed up. Or you're frustrated that you drove this far. Yeah, but... You know, even though if it didn't work out or it, was, it wasn't successful, I feel like you should change that up. Don't let that block you from um, having a great day. It's like getting stood up. Maybe you go somewhere and you get stood up and you're like, what the fuck? You're irritated. You're disgusted. But you're not going to let that or you should not let that. You should not let, allow that to hinder the rest of your day. Like, fuck that. They didn't show up. Move on to something else. Somebody that was born on the 10th is trying to warn you about somebody that's born on the 27th. They're trying to use their gift of gab to seduce you to someone new. I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I got a... Okay, so I'm going to say what I'm, what I'm getting a hit on. There is a ranchy ex. You guys may have had more than one 
really awkward, humiliating situations that happen between the both of you. This raunchy ex is trying to get you to hook up with somebody new. Why? They're trying to show you that they set you free. But I think that that's a lie. And you're going to know. It's like, I'm hearing, don't fall for it. Some sort of ex is going to try to hook you up with someone new. Or they're going to introduce you to someone new. Could be like, they're trying to tempt you. To see if you're going to like, kick something off with that person. It's like they're baiting you. This ex knows what you like. So they're going to bait you. Like, hey, this is my friend. She just started working in the office. And they're watching you like, hmm. Let's see how weak you really are. And it's like, you know something off. Like, they're setting you up. Or maybe you guys have a business. You and this, this partner could be lovers, friends, partner. And there's, like, really attractive people coming in. And they're watching you. They're watching you. They have a, a watchful eye on you. And you're like... You feel blocked by this person. You feel like walking on eggshells. It's almost like blessing blockers or hair for straighten you. We have the nine of cups. Could be water sign energies. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's like I'm seeing everybody sitting around a dinner arrangement. And there's some really foul jokes. Like, why the fuck would you mention that in front of a, a table full of strangers? The fuck is wrong with you? Did you have too much to drink? Knight of Pentacles is like it's not in, it's like they're sitting around the table everybody's talking about maybe a past situation that was awkward for this person and they're like why the fuck are you guys talking about that you know it's like not laughing not drinking as much as everybody else it's like I gotta stay sober because Mm, then I'm getting eaten off of my dime. Who's eating off of whose dime, hey? It's like, slow it up. I'm hearing slow it up. Get back out there. So someone may have ran into the bathroom. It's like somebody says something at the table and somebody goes to the bathroom. And they're like watching themselves in the bathroom or the restroom mirror. Like, what the fuck was that? And it's like, pull it together, pull it together. Don't let them see you sweating. <laughs> I don't know if this is like guidance for somebody. Misery like company. Something turns into a nightmare. It's like I it's like I accepted this dinner arrangement. And when I get there, you're trying to make me the butt of the joke. So you're trying to make me sweat. You're trying to embarrass me. But misery love company. Somebody's very unhappy that something was not successful at a celebration. It's like they had a dream or they kind of played out how their arrangement, the setting would be. It's like somebody's using arrogance and charm to show that they're facing this bullshit. So I don't know if this is you. You're at the table. And there are like intimidated people there that wants to embarrass you. And they say something and everybody's like chuckling and laughing and looking at you to see what you're going to do. And you handle it with like grace, elegance, but it's like arrogantly with this confidence, you know. Some of you are physically attracted. Oh my God. Somebody's like in, on the table like eyeing you down. You look hella good in that suit, in that dress, whatever you are wearing. God damn. You look like a bag of money, like prosperity. We have the Ten of Wands, could be a fire sign. We have the Ten of Cups. Some of you could be plus one. You brought someone that you have you have love for. So if this is a married couple that's going on a dinner date or a business dinner, it's like we have love for each other. We are partners more than lovers, hey, or more than friends. Somebody's for somebody loves what they see. Oh my god, somebody's like, oh the things I'll do to you, and then they take a drink, but they're watching you as they drink. I see like eyes over a cup. Yeah, somebody wants their wish fulfillment with you. 
<laughs> that'll be that'll be a blessing i don't know if somebody might make a joke about being um what is that word not prostitute but like an escort is like i'm i don't know why i'm getting like the boomerang when eddie murphy slept with homegirl with the good feet i forgot her name it's been so long and he wakes up and there's money on the table and he clutches the, the sheets <laughs> ah game recognized game mm -hmm. somebody wants you to know from the first time they saw you they knew they had to get you it's like you're their dream girl their dream guy loving these moments we have the six of cups we could be talking about a lot of different proposal hey at the table it all sounds promising but there's no guarantees or there's no signing of a contract right now this could be a business meetup somebody has to go to a different town um to get to the restaurant in time to have these people sign something somebody's planning to i'm getting you're the man or the woman for the job you have the guts you have the glory you have the muscle to get it done what is this there's going to be a powerful transformation with the seven of cups at this date literally a date somebody's not wanting to eat everything on the table they may feel kind of like queasy this is going to turn into a burden why am i hearing that somebody's going to be dating a burden you're going to have to learn to say no so i don't know if you're constantly taking up the tab you're frustrated this person is late okay so maybe somebody gets stood up hey they go they check in they have a drink this person doesn't show up they're like fuck it i'm gonna have some good this is a good place to eat so i'm just gonna order some food they missing out right some of you um the waiter whoever is waiting on your table maybe hot as fuck right maybe there's something wrong with the food or the drink and you call them back and the way how they deal with you it was just so mannerable the hospital hospitability the hospitality the hospitality makes you tip them more a guilty tip this person's like no i don't want your tip and you're like no it's fine you took care of it I, yeah it's like that <laughs> do what's best for you ten of wands seven of cups queen of cups two of cups yep this is a date or did or uh, um a business date oh shit some of you this person may say something very embarrassing and you may sip too much drink too much hey Somebody wants to talk about your achievements. There may be um, an honorable dinner going on here. Somebody, this could be even a surprise party or reunion. So some of you may be traveling for business and you want to unite with somebody from your hometown. This could also be going on a trip with children. And there's an embarrassing moment at the table with a child and money oh my goodness so two of cups ten of cups this is true love somebody's true love is wanting to date them wanting to get back out there with them i don't know this could be the vacation you guys need to um get love or get some spice back on the scene hey somebody may be trying too hard to get a, a family dinner together and it didn't work out well you tried your best right sick sick over a divorce with disgust somebody's sick over a divorce why are we it's like that ex bro that raunchy ex that's sick the i'm getting the connection or whatever this was was lacking stability it did not work out and now this ex is trying to bait someone by introducing them to someone new and it's like love at first sight. And the ex is standing there like, what the hell is really going on right now? It's like they're wanting to know why they don't have that look with them. It's like this ex 
is sick over that they introduce the person that they want to their true love or they know they're going after their true love an ex knows that you're going after true love or this person is coming after you because they think you're their true love this I'm, I'm getting that this person may be in the queen of cups energy they don't want they're determined to face something with you they don't give a fuck how many um they don't give a fuck about how many distractions delays detours they don't care they want to face something with you even though they're afraid they're expecting um, embarrassing moments. They're expecting you to be disgusted to see them. But you're their dream come true. It's like somebody pulling up and they're like, listen, listen, don't don't run off. You know, I know you don't want to see me, but I had to see you. This person may have rejected serious commitment or marriage with you. And maybe they knew you were afraid of both of you have a fear of each other leaving. There's love here. Both of you may feel like you're each other's dream come true. Children may be involved. Maybe that's the thing that held this person back. Their responsibilities, their children, or maybe a divorce. Some of you may have felt really hurt. Maybe you drop this with this person. You still love them. Your feelings ain't changed. But you dropped something with someone because you felt like they made you feel like you were doing too much. We have 1010 10 going on. I'm hearing it's an end for so, someone else and a new beginning with you with this person. So I don't know if it's too soon to start dating you. But it's like, I feel like I can't hold back. Like, yeah, I just seriously stopped dealing with X, Y, and Z or the divorce is officially finalized, right? I know I should take some time out, but I don't want to lose you. And it's like, it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassing circumstance. But I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, someone is not going to allow that to stop them. They're determined with the Ten of um, Wands. So we have 10, 10, 10. Yeah, it's like a, a, a lesson learned with what that ending was. I feel like the consequences, I have dealt with that. I'm being rewarded with a new chance or I'm re being rewarded to travel towards you and I'm taking it. Whatever started out as a disaster turns into a fairy tale ending. <laughs> Perfect. I'm hearing it turned out perfectly get back out there somebody's trying to get back to you i'm hearing i'm trying to find my way back to you add into your collection i'm getting somebody touching your nose saying you didn't believe in me like somebody touch your nose you didn't believe in me because i'm seeing the nose energy head too as well it's like some plans didn't happen right it didn't happen it sucked the feelings are still the same it didn't change how i felt but now it's happening now it took a while but it's happening now maybe it took two years to get to this point and then somebody's like you didn't believe in me touching your nose somebody wants to lighten the mood with tension or disharmony with you they want to laugh with you they want to talk about different things over dinner they want to get you a little drunk <laughs> they want to get you a little drunk maybe this is someone that catfished you in the past and now they want to like face you they're afraid though they're afraid what is this truth about the truth about a gathering the truth about a high priestess yeah some of you got like cool heads or you're like no longer um being vulnerable or available with the high priestess energy some of you you know it would have happened you just didn't know when and i feel like the high priestess is asking you 
to walk in faith. You're blessed. You're covered. You're protected. What what song am I getting? I'm getting Ply's Head with Neil. My busted baby. Somebody's trying to get back to their busted baby. Yeah, got me speeding in the fast lane. Trying to get back to her love. Busted baby. You're somebody busted baby. Maybe somebody needed to go through a, a divorce or um, a finalizing of like we over. We don't deal no more to get to you. True love. Somebody's trying to get back to true love. They didn't feel worthy in the past to date you. So maybe this person's money was funny. It's like they feel like you knew what the issues were. They dreaming about you lately with the high priestess. They feel like their true their dreams are the truth. You know what I'm talking about? Let's see what this dating is all about. We're going to get some clarity cards here with this dating. So we're going to switch up the deck. High priestess. I'm trying to see what you got under those clothes, mama. Right? Yeah, somebody wants somebody's in their higher self. Somebody's operating their living life in their higher self. Their higher self is connected to you. That's probably why you're feeling them. You feel like they're free to date you, to court you. I don't know. You see in their name a lot. Something you're seeing that's alerting you that this person is coming. Right? Trust your intuition. Mm, your memories are coming up about this person for a reason. I'm hearing check the clues on the date. Don't underestimate your psychic attachment to this person. We have dating twice. They coming to break you off. Coming to break you off. Mm. Coming to break you off. This person may serenade you. You know. They're trying to. um Manifestation. Yeah. They're about to make this happen. It's like you didn't have faith in me. You didn't believe in me. Until I'm showing up now. They may bring flowers. They bring. Peace offerings. They come to bring the high priestess offerings peace offerings you're gonna they're gonna make you smile but what is the truth hey they may want to tell you that they consulted with a psychic this feels like you know those advertisement about psychics that draw out the person you're gonna be dating soon this feels like that someone may have paid for it they trust in this information. Some of you, you may be a psychic. You may have one of your um, clients want to date you. They want to set up a, a meeting to see you. They want you to read the cards. Some of you may be doing that at a party. Or you go to a party and somebody's like, well, <laughs> our glass subscriber is a psychic. They actually do tarot readings. You guys want one? And everybody's like, yay, let's do it. Get the fucking drinks. You know what I'm saying? And you may be sitting there like there's somebody loudest. I'm hearing the person at the person at the table who is the loudest. Some of you, this person was was afraid to date you because of your spiritual techniques, your powers, and your rituals. They were afraid to to let people know that it's you. They may be still doing this. They're like secretly coming to you. They don't want anybody to know that they're going to go see their lady. The lady. Yeah. You have a way of balancing this person's logic with their emotions. That, that's what they need. They need that. You're a powerful manifester. Look at you. You could have some witchy vibe. Or you're just mystical as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants to bring money to a psychic. Somebody wants a powerful love reading about who they dating here. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Yeah. Um, High Priestess could also says for you, it's like a calling card. Pay attention to how you feel about this date or the person you're dating. Don't be afraid to look at the truth. 
don't be afraid to um exit don't be afraid to excuse yourself um i don't know if you travel across town you had to tra take the subway to train the bus or somebody's telling you that that they had to uber there or we have the five of cups energy mm, somebody wants to know who you dating who you seeing it's like you know that song i don't want to know if you play in me, keep it on the low. We have two, 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 seven, or two, 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 seven, seven, two, two, whatever, two. Maybe this is a license plate number. I don't know. The name of the cart. I don't know. But I'm getting like, I don't want to know if you play in me. Keep it on the low. I don't want to know. If you play in me, keep it on the low. Cause my heart can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, it's like we gonna get a ride into the town in the town. Take me to see a town, shorty. Some of you could be tall guides. Yeah, somebody's like imagining this. Someone could be shooting you psychic um downloads. It's like all of a sudden you start think all of a sudden you start thinking about this person and they're like over where they're at. Just visualizing how they're gonna date you. Like, yeah, I'm gonna call you, set a date. And it's like after that, it's like a bunch of thoughts about how this gonna go down. Six of Cups, a blast from the past. Somebody you had memories with. They feel embarrassed to come towards you, but I'm hearing um a ghost from the past. I don't know if this person ghosts you, catfish you, and now they're trying to come see you. They're a little embarrassed. <laughs> Shorty from the block. Shorty from the block. I don't know what that means. But I'm seeing like skyscrapers. I'm from the city of skyscrapers. And yellow cabs. Yeah, it's a lot of drinking. And it's like... I don't know. Maybe somebody could join you guys. Somebody's like, they want to talk about the old days, but you're not naive no more. It's like, maybe you, you were like doing too much to date someone. You kind of embarrassed yourself or because their lack of self-esteem, you know, they made you feel some kind of way. You got cool heads on this person, but you still think about the past, what it could be like. This person is doing the same thing. Like children, like how we were when we were children. Oh, this could be like destiny because I'm hearing I we were dating as children and then I lost you. I never thought I'll see you again. And then boom, here we go. I feel like it's destiny. I feel like life brought you back to me. <laughs> Maybe somebody wants you to think that way. So I'm seeing the high priestess saying... Like, non-verbally, I know you had a fucked up date in history, but I'm not them. It's like the high priestess is trying to show someone who's willing to come towards the high priestess. Stop punishing me for the past people you fucking dated. They ain't me and I ain't them. What the fuck you thought, right? Have some maturity. Somebody's born. When they bought a home, they start thinking about the mess they got into you when they were dating you. How they sat on the fence. They dragged their feet. With the high priestess. Now they want the high priestess back. Are you glowing? I'm hearing something you forgot. Is that a Lil Wayne song? It's something that you forgot. We have 6-6. Six, six. Oh yeah. Page of one. Somebody's excited. Somebody's excited by the thought of seeing you again. They didn't compromise well here with the six of pentacles. This is a page of ones. Now, this is a person that wants a good old time, a fun loving person to date. There could be a lack of trust here or this person wants you to trust them or they know you were trying to trust them, but they made you feel unworthy because they were unworthy. They were afraid. So they put they didn't put in no effort. They were afraid to date you. You too good looking. <laughs> so maybe their family was trying to support them or try to help them this person is surrounded by three people i don't know if it's three women two women and a guy 
it's somebody that they always consort to. I am also feeling like there was group dating in the past with this page of wands. It was fun. It was like a competition handle. So I don't know if this person is coming towards you. They're accustomed to group dating. And this is like out of their box when it comes to like one-on-one. -on -one. You know, this could be someone that's attracted to um, potential partners that are belonging to a group. So, you know, guys, guy, guys that belong to a group of guys are mostly attracted to women that are belong to a group of women too, right? Yeah, this person never had to do this alone. And I feel like that's what's getting me sweaty armpits. So this page of wands, right? They want to talk. They want the innocence back. They're hiding this journey from a from three people. Yep. Diablo energy. Yep. So maybe you push this person to face their shadow. You push this person to face their toxicity. They ended something with three different people. So I don't know if it was two women. They could have a toxic attachment to a sibling. Then they have another toxic attachment to a, a, a buddy from school. Then they have another toxic attachment to an ex. All three of them have something in common. Maybe they all like to date or they all like to drink or it's like the same signs or the same type of um, people but in three different bodies. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to yo. This could feel very shallow. So maybe you're the high priestess and you're not into shallow game, game and dates. And this person knows. They're trying to protect you. Somebody's trying to protect you from their harmful ways. It's like, I want you in the worst way, shorty. Obsessive sexual thoughts about this date. Like, yeah. Say so you guys... You know, circle that 10, number 10. We're going to meet each other on the 10th month, on the 10th date or whatever, whatever. And this person is just like building the anti anticipation. They're trying to go to your house. They're trying to bring wine and roses. Wine and roses from my baby. <laughs> they may also want to tell you they feel powerless. This could be guilty pleasures. They feel powerless to their guilty pleasures. <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. What is this Diablo about? It doesn't feel right. Dark energy. This person may have a lot of dark energy. Maybe their eyes are really dark or it just see black like a, like a little demon. Maybe they on demon time sexually. Did you hear how my cards snap? They on demon time. Two of pentacles. They're trying to juggle you. What I mean? What I mean? They're trying to unite with you, right? But in the two of pentacles energy, it's like they juggling two different lives. Or this is like a um, double life energy. Maybe this is a person that's not telling you what's really going on in their life. But when you guys sit on and talk, it's like the old days or like the old times. When we were kids, when it was just me and you against the world. That's how they wanted to feel. But this person may have, okay, so money may be an issue here. I don't feel like this person is brokey, but they may not have enough to splurge on you the way they like. This may be something that they're hiding and you kind of you feel it out. It's like order what you want off of the menu. You know, when the bill comes, it's like they got to move some money from another account to, to this account to pay. And it's like you kind of see that they're acting funny. Like they, they, they got to move funny money. And now they're acting funny. And it's like you're watching them. I feel like for some of you. You may kind of like lower your standards. to For this person to afford what's going on here. I don't know if they got a room. They got a room. And you could hear them singing coming down the hall. <laughs> Ain't nobody business but me and my baby But mine's not me and my baby or some shit Yeah This person They could have done this out of a whim Or it's like they got a premonition They got a vision Or it was psychically told to them That this day was coming 
and they feel like it's now the time is now to act and maybe in the past they were very conscientious of what could happen the damage that could be done but i feel like they're tossing it out of the window we have 12 10 or 11 10 queen of pentacles yeah mommy you looking like a bag of money you know what i'm saying you handling your business you may be a woman of motion and they they're just trying to live up to that standard rise to the occasion i feel like this person doesn't want you to come down they want to come up to you rise to the occasion nothing but the best for my shorty for the queen of pentacles some of you this person may have a financial decision that they want to talk to you about they want to know your input because you may be business savvy or you run your own business for quite a while or the, what you have going on. You've been running it for quite a while and they want to, you know, toss some things out, lay some things out on the table, see what you're going to say. There's still an embarrassing moment here that's throwing off the mood. What is this? They may feel embarrassed to bring up something, but they're tired of watching. They're tired of observing you. They feel like it's time to like step out. They may feel kind of small to you. Being that you may be in the queen of pentacles. And they're in the swords energy. Like I said. Um, there may be some money. They have to move from one account to the next account. To get to pull something off here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you might have to take the reins financially. And another outing. And another social event is what I heard loud and clear. So maybe them paying for the ticket. Getting their butt to you. Now you're going to have to like take the financial reins. I don't know how you feel about that, that part. But with a, a page of swords right. They may want to tell you some good news. Or they just want nothing but good news and goals to be popping off between the both of you. They're frustrated by something else. I feel like it has them in a choke hole. So whatever they left has them by the balls or has them in a choke hole. And it has something to do with financial stress and transferring money. Justice. <laughs> so maybe they're in a... Uh, legal financial bind they may um be into something that could lead to court herons they want to be real though about it some of you have really great finance financial advice or again um you have been running something legally for some time and this person may feel like something is pending so they may feel like it's their responsibility to be honest with you. I feel like you're going to appreciate it, but you're still on the defense is what I heard. You need more information about something. So I don't know when you guys dating, if you may feel like compelled to ask what, what's going on, but you may be... It's like, never mind. We could talk about that next time. Maybe for some of you, you don't want to ruin a moment that you've been waiting for for a while with this person. They have something domestically going on. They may have two people that want revenge or there's a legal situation with those three people that we talked about. Something about spiritual justice for the queen of pentacles. It's paid for. It's done. Some of you, this person may be into something that they could go to jail for. And it could be surrounding money. Maybe some sort of illegal transferring money. Or they may take money from an account from one of those three people. Or somebody in that three people thing. And that could all be karmic people, right? Um, maybe this one of the first one, maybe two people in the three party thing, third party thing, your person told them that they want to date you, right? Someone may have been telling this person a lot of ill advice to avoid this date with you. A lot of information, a lot of that's too risky, you shouldn't, you should be cautious. What if somebody finds receipt? It's like this person constantly instill fear into your person. I 
and I feel like your person is more level headed. Maybe they went to a psychic. I don't know if they went to a trusted friend. This person may have tried to talk them out of it. Maybe this person knows you a little bit and they try to talk. Maybe they know the past you with the six of cups. They know of you and this person may have took their advice for a while, but they can't take it. It's like they're frustrated. They feel like the things that they've been listening to has been preventing them from getting towards you. It's like because you're scared to do it, you're trying to make me afraid to do it. And that's not going to work anymore. Maybe they're embarrassed to tell you like, yo, one of my buddies, one of my homegirls, she was actually um, advising me not to see you. Like, what is that about? I don't know if they want to talk about it with you. Something has been served. The truth is going to be served at this dinner. The fool. Am I a fool? Oh, I'm hearing Elvis Presley. Fools don't... Fools... What? I can't help falling in love with you. Fools don't rush in. Yeah. This person is trying not to rush. But they can't help falling in love with you. Take my whole life through. Take my hand and pull my whole life through. Yeah. This person is like... I don't know. They they got some kind of hit on you. King of Pentacles. Yep. They're trying to marry you. They're trying to be your King of Pentacles. They're trying to do something. They're trying to commit to you. I don't know if they want to marry you. That's something that they embarrassed to talk to you about. Or they've seen it in the future. So the date is going to be set. And then all of a sudden this person is getting a lot of hits. About the future, about this power couple energy with you, but it's like I gotta come out of my comfort zone. I always wanted you. I did some foolish things that humiliated the both of us, that hurt the both of you, both of us. But I'll be a fool if I don't try to get to you again. I'm f I'm free. I'm free right now, or so they think. So they have convinced themselves. Maturity is still needed, and they know it. They want to talk about a commitment here with you over a good meal. But it's like problems paying or it's 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 like a champagne life, champagne splash, but not being able to afford the champagne splash. I don't know if they're going to try to go to the restroom and call someone to send them money. They might call one of these three people to send them an extra grand. I'm seeing like a thousand dollars, maybe two fifty to a thousand dollars. And they may be in the restroom, you know. Hey, could you by any chance lend me some more money? I ran out of money. I'm gonna pay you back. Ooh, you guys. I don't know. I think you're going to be sitting across from them waiting for the other shoe to drop for them to tell you what this is all about or what what's going on. Some sort of um, oh, come on now, something that they're facing with money, a legal situation with money is up and down right now. We have the three of pentacles. Three people are involved. Hey, I don't know if you know about them, but I feel like these three people know about you or they know about this this date, this date to trip. They want you to collaborate with them. Maybe that's what they want to talk about. Mm, they're trying to get you a little juicy. They get, they're get. they trying to get you a little bit loose. A little bit drunk. There could be a bunch of people around. This could be strong PDA energy that they do. Yeah. It's like doing what couples do. Maybe because this person is not in their usual environment a lot of pda i see a lot of holding and kissing on the neck and the cheek and the forehead the tower so somebody's waiting for the other shoe to drop hey all right a truth bomb to come out about what what's going on in this date holy shit yeah it's like some sort of financial loss is in the back of this person's mind. Occasionally, you might see them zone out. Or occasionally, you might see them like lost in thought. They want to get you. I'm hearing. I'm want. I wanted to break you off. Keep coming back. 
this person may not eat a lot or they might not order what they really want from the menu because they're too focused on the budget. <laughs> they may tell you a truth bomb about how addicted they are to you. But they were just afraid to face you or to face dating you or to face setting themselves free to have time for you. They were unhappy for a long time. This is things that they you may be shocked to fucking hey, but it makes your day. They may want to tell you about a situation they got into because they didn't believe in themselves. They were listening to these three people. They thought these three people was... Um, on their side, got their back, they embarrassed them, or it's something to do with you, though. So I don't know if the people they chose over you has embarrassed them, and now they feel like they need to make their wrongs right with you, but they want to tell you. Something is upsetting somebody's stomach. Somebody hasn't eaten in three days. I don't know if they got food poison or what. They were devastated when the bridge was burnt between the both of you they had to give you time somebody had to give you some time to get back to your innocence i'm hearing that you know they wanted to tell you they wanted to address something immediately but they couldn't face it or they they knew that they hurt you so they didn't face it right away it's like they were giving you time to like let go of the hurt I don't think you healed because you turned into the high priestess or you went back into your shell or you were just like passive on the whole thing. You don't want to talk about it. You already knew about it or you knew it was going to happen. So chin up, charge it to the game, whatever. But I'm getting like they had to turn you loose so you could get back to the full energy of pure energy, right? It's like they had to turn you loose for you to get on your right path or to get into the right head. That's what I heard. Or for you to return to the path that led to your best selves. So maybe you bring that up. Like what, what took you so long to this doesn't feel right. You took too long or something like that may be said. And this person is going to give you the reason why. Because this journey with the fool is like they're saying, I had to turn you loose. I was frustrated. I was blocked. I had to turn you loose. I couldn't deliver, right? I had to turn you loose. And I had to let you go back on the right path that was leading you or you were heading to, on, to the best version of yourself. Now that you're in pure energy or they're in pure energy, they feel like the time is now to set that date. But this could all be... What's coming is that talk. Maybe they want to talk about how stingy they were. I thought I could have kept the whole enchilada. They might make a funny joke about the food concerning what they went through. I feel like both of y'all are going to get what you want at the end of the night. Um, the thing is. Somebody may um, change the mood by asking about the tower. I was caught up. Something about I was caught up in the game or the work, right? I was playing greedy. I wanted it all for myself, the whole enchilada. But let's not think about that. Let's not talk about that because the tower is clashing with the knight of cups and it's like I don't want to I don't want to think about that right now I just want to think about this moment I don't want this moment to end this is very emotional because it's like my throat is like tightening up and my eyes are like burning into the back so I don't know if this person is emotional just to be here with you or this is them becoming emotional and how they're going to like show up, how they're going to deliver, how they're going to plan every move. They want you to realize that the dream or the vision is still hey. There's going to be a courage conversation, but I feel like. I don't know. It's like the world could be burning and it's just you and them. It's like this person only sees you. 
It's like all of the shit didn't matter no more when they lost you. No, it's still something about what you want to know about the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Maybe you wish that they would tell you more information about the other people that's involved, but you don't want to ask. Something about a mistake. They want to tell you about a mistake, yeah? They want to tell you about a mistake. And they had to reconnect with themselves or they had to relearn who they were from these three people. They had to release their toxic behaviors. They had to tend to their emotional needs. And I feel like when they started doing that, they started disconnecting or they started to... Um, it's the, the attachment they had with those three people, it started to stretch till it, it thinned out itself. I feel like those three people are very suspicious of your person. Because their vibe is changing. One person or two people in that group know that your person is emotionally attached to you. They could always tell when this person has talked to you when they haven't. The type of excitement that comes from this person. Their depression fades away. Somebody knows about you and this person. This person knows that your person wants you. And they could tell when you guys has been interacting. They know. So they feel like it was a mistake to push you away and build a commitment with those folks. But that's burning down. Mm -hmm. That those, those toxic attachment burned down. But when it burned down, it showed your person what was real. Whatever was real would stand the fire. The fire is still blazing. Yeah, they're going to tell you something about work. Maybe they were poor and that poorness led to greed. I don't know. This is like, I want to tell you everything, but I want to have a fun time. I don't want to like bring the past back on the table and we're not enjoying the now. We're not celebrating us now. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something about goals or no goals. Dedication or no dedication. I don't know what that means, but hopefully you do. Be cautious about signing if this is a, a business dinner. You may say something and you may not know that that triggered someone to look at a group conflict. I don't know if you're going to be at some sort of potluck. Or a meeting and there's like food and you guys are like eating and you may say something or somebody says something that highlights or reveals some sort of office conflict. Hey, just shut up and drink and eat. Enjoy the moment. Don't talk about gossip, 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 office gossip. Yeah, it's like you put your foot in your mouth with the fool or somebody else does. Somebody talks about how somebody's not doing their duties at work at this potluck or after the meeting, you know, you have a few snacks, a few bite. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.